Hi, I'm Daryl. I'm a sustainable landscape designer and the founder of Yard Farmer, and I just started this channel because I care a lot about transforming yards into sustainable spaces, and I want to share my passion and my knowledge and everything I got going up here about that with you. In honor of this brand new YouTube channel, I thought I would share with you all my villain origin story. The year was 2018 been living in this house for a few years, but I was getting really sick of my water bills in the summer because we are talking fence to fence, Kentucky bluegrass, front and back. And so I reached out to a couple of landscaping contractors and designers saying, hey, I'd like a drought tolerant landscape. I've heard about the xeriscaping thing or something. Can you come give me some quotes? And basically the bids looked like this. Sure thing, ma'am. Your 800 square foot front yard, we can totally do that for you. We're gonna spray a bunch of Roundup and then we're gonna till your grass into your soil. And then we're gonna plant like two grasses over here and a shrub over there. And we're gonna just put in some boulders and some gravel. That'll be $20,000. The year was 2018. I was just a girl sitting in front of a boy asking him to design her a drought tolerant landscape and not charge her $20,000 for it. And he said, good luck with that. And here we are. <laughs> that was the start of what is now yardfarmer.co because obviously I didn't know much, but I knew that that sounded wrong. So I started Googling immediately, what is a sustainable yard? What is a drought tolerant yard? And then out of pure neurodivergent spite, I dedicated every moment of every day studying what sustainable landscaping actually was, what it would mean in a Utah ecosystem and how to do it myself. And I learned a whole bunch of things and I wanna share some of those things with you. Fast forward five, six some odd years, I'm now working full time as a sustainable landscape designer and here are some things that I learned that I really want you to know. So number one, a low maintenance landscape is a lush landscape. A lot of times in sustainable landscaping or xeriscaping, we see a lot of mulch or a lot of gravel and just little plants here and there, right? But the thing is, weed seeds travel by air. So if you have bare soil, and yes, I would count gravel as bare soil as well, those weed seeds are going to come, they're going to land, they're going to root down. You're going to spend every weekend walking around a hot, bare yard ripping weeds out of the ground. So if you want to get away from the constant weeding or from the spraying of harmful chemicals, you need to plant a landscape that has a really robust ground cover or very lush perennial plantings or both. Those plantings are gonna fill in. They're gonna suppress and compete out other weeds. They're also going to shade the soil, keeping the temperature of your soil lower and lowering the amount of water you need. Sustainable landscaping tip number two, soil health is king. Soil health is everything. And I'm gonna tell you why. A plant with healthy symbiotic relationships with the microbes, the bacteria, the fungi that all exist in healthy soil can access 50 to 100 times, not percent, I'm gonna repeat that again, 50 to 100 times more water than a plant without those relationships. So when soil is dead, it's just dirt. And you're going to need to constantly be weeding, fertilizing, and watering those plants in order to keep them alive. But if soil is healthy, the amount of inputs you need to put into your landscape dramatically reduce. So if you wanna water and fertilize your yard a lot less, we need to do everything we can to support soil health. And that means we're not tilling every year, we're not ripping out plants and weeds manually and disturbing the structure of the soil because soil structure really matters. We're not spraying broadleaf herbicides, fungicides, insecticides, because all of those things destroy critical microbes that are essential to soil health. And in general, we wanna plant native, well-adapted plants that are suited for the soil that you have in your yard that aren't super nutrient hungry. And even if there are heavy feeders in your landscape, let's say you wanna grow vegetables, let's say there are shrubs that are already there, whatever, we wanna make sure that we have a plan to cycle nutrients back into that soil sustainably so that you constantly don't have to be importing fertilizer from somewhere else. And point number three, native wildlife really need our help because traditional urban and suburban landscaping as well as commercial agriculture have degraded these critical native ecosystems that were once here and created monocultures instead. And these monocultures go against the way nature wants to operate. So on a systemic level, as developments were put in destroying native prairies and native grasslands and native wetlands. And as urban planners planted millions of non-native trees across tens of thousands of neighborhoods around the US, all of our native birds and bees and butterflies just aren't getting what they need. And you should care about this for more reasons than just it's sad, which it is, it's really, really sad. But you should also care because these native ecosystems that used to be here, they managed themselves. The pest control was part of it. The fertilizer was part of it. These ecosystems 
just worked on their own without human intervention and we ruined that. So as it currently stands, we are paying constantly, again, water, fertilizer, mulch, all of these things that nature wanted to provide us for free. And so when we stack all of these points into a design for a sustainable landscape, we are essentially deciding to leverage nature instead of fighting against it, which then allows us to stop importing all of these inputs. Again, I've said these words a lot, but we're stopping weeding, we're stopping watering, we're stopping fertilizing. And instead we could just start, I don't know, living, enjoying, sitting, drinking a cup of coffee. I hate weeding. That's the theme of this whole video is that I really hate weeding. Yeah, that's it, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> so who can you, oh, do you just burp in my face? Oh, there you go. Hi, I'm Daryl. This is my dog, Zoe, and she's a sustainable landscape designer. I just work for her. Hi. <laughs> no. <laughs> something, 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 something. Hi. 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 Was living, I've been, wait, the year, what, the, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> a plant, a plant, a plant, a plant growing in the ground. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Sustainably sustains? That's not correct. Cut. 